हेलो now are you able to hear me uh, still still it's uh, uh, somewhat low but try to speak louder huh? please okay 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 uh, so ram uh, uh, so this is the agenda uh, demo agenda now so first we will have the introduction introduction of okay. the student and the trainer mm -hmm. then i will show you the course content what topics we'll be discussing during our training okay, okay. and i will give you overview of the, those topics and then we'll see the documentation part like at the end of the training what documents i'll provide i'll show you sample ones and then in the end we'll discuss training methodology part like when to have training weekdays or weekends what is a suitable timings all those things we'll discuss okay okay uh, so ram can you give you just a uh, just a brief introduction about you can you just briefly explain your background your qualifications your experience all those things Hello. Ah, uh, hello. Is Ram code? Ram code. Ah, uh, increase your uh, Ram. Increase your volume. Still, it's very low. Not sure where is the problem. Increase your volume. Ah, uh, are you able to hear me properly? Yes, yes. Your your volume is less. I'm I don't know. Not sure. Increase your volume. Must speak louder. Don't use speaker phones, sir. Huh? Yeah, yeah, hello. 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 Yeah, hello. Now are you able to hear me? Ah yeah, I am able to hear you. Okay, okay. You continue. Yeah, you continue with your interaction.
Hello? Ah, hello. Yeah, Ram, it's okay. Now you can continue. Uh, yeah, please continue. Inconvenience. Uh, my name is Ramu Koduri. Okay. Uh, I am from Andhra Pradesh. Hmm. I completed my B.Tech uh, from Mechanical in hmm. 2008. After that, uh, hmm. I worked in Marine Engineering. Hmm. Up to 2015, I worked as a Marine Engineer. Hmm. Hmm. So from last one year, uh, I am searching for an opportunity in software field. Hmm. So this, uh, I learned this Documentum, EMC Documentum course. Hmm. Hmm. My cousin encouraged me to do this. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, in your experience, uh, what role you have performed? Uh, as a marine engineer, uh, okay. I am responsible for uh, maintenance and repairs all these in ship. Okay, good, good. So, you have the uh, required domain experience, sir. Uh, Okay, so that's good. Uh, let, let's continue. I'll give my introduction and then we'll go into the demo part. Okay, so this is my uh, this is my profile. Uh, uh, my name is Savan. I am a BTEC mechanical graduate. Okay, overall I have 17 years of experience, 80 years into domain, 80 years into domain. So in my domain experience, I worked as a maintenance engineer. Maintenance. Okay. okay. Uh, maintenance planner and maintenance engineer roles I have performed. Mm. Okay. And after that, I learned SAP. Then I moved into SAP consulting. Uh, overall, in SAP, I have nine years of experience. Okay. And I am certified in SAP PM model. Okay. okay. So so far, I have done three end-to-end implementation projects. Okay. So far. Uh, so far, I have done three end-to-end implementation projects. So these are the some of the top-notch clients for which I worked during SAP uh, career. GE, Sanofi, Mylon, Dr. Reddy's, Chipmo. Okay, and these are the some of the domains for which I implemented SAP. Okay, and uh, this is currently I'm working as a solution architect in one of the leading IT organizations in India. This is my current role. Okay, and these are the some of the countries I traveled as part of my SAP career. Okay, so this is my profile. Let's move on. Uh, we'll see the course content. Okay, okay. so this is the course content. Okay, first we'll see the overview part. Overview part. What is SAP PM? We'll see. What is the org structure? We'll understand org structure. Then we'll see the master data. Master data. Then we'll see maintenance planning. How it is done. Then we'll see maintenance execution. Okay. And then we'll see preventive maintenance. The preventive maintenance is done. Then refurbishment of spare parts. This we'll discuss. Then calibration inspection. Okay. I'll, I'll just briefly explain all these things. And then we'll, and integration of PM with other modules. Okay. And then finally, we'll see configuration part. Configuration part. So this is the total overall course content. SAP PM course content. Okay, so uh, let's move on to first one. Over you. Uh, so you, Ram, you know what is SAP? Yes, yes. Oh, can you, can you just briefly explain what is SAP? Why SAP is used? Uh, then I can get what uh, what level of understanding you have. Okay. Hello. Ah, uh, yeah. Tell me, what is SAP? What whatever you know, you just explain. Uh, SAP is a ERP. Okay, uh, speak louder, Ram. Your voice is still low, boss. Try to speak louder. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah. Hello? Uh, Ram, are you there? Hello, Ram. Hello. 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 Uh, hello. Are, are you there? Are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, tell me what you know as SAP. Uh, SAP is an uh, enterprise resource planning software. Mm, mm. 
that was basically designed for managing resources mm mm i know that um, one acha okay so if you know that thing that's okay see sap is a enterprise resource planning tool with which you will be running your business okay day to day your business transactions day to day your all your business activities everything you will be executing using this sap software mm. okay so basically you will be integrating all your business functions using sap so normally in the in the what business functions you will have in the any any industry okay normally any what what type of uh, functions you have in any typical manufacturing industry you will have purchasing you will have purchasing you will have sales you will have production okay you will have planning quality control mm. you will have planning you will have quality control okay and then control you will have engineering department okay you will have warehouse you will have warehouse what else you will have you will have hr department you will have finance department okay what else you have okay what else you have purchasing sales production planning quality control warehouse okay uh, you have customer service department customer service you have projects department okay and what else so we covered most of the things right correct yes 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 so so these departments these business functions every day they they do their activities whatever they do they will use sap to execute their day to day activities okay so that is what the sap is all about so to execute to run the business they use sap erp application okay so it's a typical enterprise application basically so now in the in the overview part we will be discussing what is sap why sap is used okay what is plan maintenance module okay basically what is plan maintenance module why the organizations implement plan maintenance module we will understand okay so when they implement plan maintenance module what activities what functions they can perform that we will understand and then how the pm module is integrated with other modules okay so that we will understand okay and then we'll see basic navigation in sap how to log on to sap how to use it all those things we'll understand have you any time logged on to sap uh, ram ram yeah just hello sorry yeah hello uh, hello how to log i know how to log in into sap acha acha okay okay theek hai that's all so this is all about your uh, what do you call overview part overview is like an introduction first we will see the introduction part okay so once the introduction is done we will go to org structure of pm okay, okay. so org structure of pm means here let's say you have a industry you have a company you have an organization it can have lot of manufacturing locations right it can have lot of manufacturing location lot of distribution centers lot of warehouses lot of corporate mm. offices it can have right correct yes yes so those things you map through org structure so a total enterprise structure enterprise divisions mm. you will map it into sap using organization structure mm. okay so here the uh, the manufacturing location the manufacturing site it is called as plant in sap it is mm. called plant in sap so we will see what is planning plant what is maintenance plant mm. what is planner group okay mm. planning plant means where people will should sit and do the planning activities maintenance plant means there all your equipment all your machines are located mm. okay so planner group means the the group of people doing the planning activity so how to create all these things in the sap system we will understand mm. okay so once that is done we will move on to the master data master data of technical objects uh, mm. like what is equipment equipment is nothing but your machine equipment is nothing but a machine so how to create equipment in the system what what is the data available what data you maintain everything we'll discuss in the equipment okay. then we'll discuss functional location functional locations is the place is the department or a or a some particular location 
where all your equipments are located okay. so how to create that how to maintain that all those things we'll discuss when we go to the real training then task mm -hmm. list so to do the preventive maintenance okay to do the maintenance activity what operations you have to perform that you maintain in the task list what tasks you are going to perform okay then bill of material bill of materials means equipment structure in the equipment what parts you have like bearing gasket coupling o-rings oh, okay, okay, okay. okay nuts bolts in whatever you have in the bomb or in the equipment that you create as a bomb bill of material mm. okay so we will understand that how to create bill of material how it is maintained all those things we'll understand okay, okay? now then work center work center means group of people doing for the maintenance activity there will be some pre people in the organization they will do some maintenance activity correct yes sir. Uh, so those people will be creating as work center so how to create the work center where it is used what is the importance of creating work centers all those things will understand then classification we'll see when we go to the training mm. okay what is classification how the characteristics how the classes are created all those things will understand mm. so this is the master data of plant maintenance module okay we will understand all the things in detail okay so once the master data is done we will go on to the business processes first is the regular maintenance regular maintenance means normally in the industry what will happen normally the equipments will be located normally in the production department correct yes sir. so whenever the machine is having some issue or some problem what they do mm -hmm. the maintenance department the production department will inform the engineering department am i correct mm -hmm. yes sir. Uh, so that they through a they will do through a notification they create a notification whenever there is some issue like some mm -hmm. oil leak is they observe in the machine or from the machine some abnormal sound is coming so what they do they inform the engineering yeah. department through notification so that notification mm -hmm. will come to engineering department using that notification they will create a work order work order okay. and they will take the mm. approval of the supervisor okay mm. once the supervisor approves the work order they go to the warehouse okay and mm. they go to the warehouse and the, whatever the materials they require they will take from warehouse okay mm. and then they will do the maintenance activity and once the maintenance activity is completed they will confirm the order work order and then they will take off and finance finally finance department will do the settlement and they will do the business completion Oh. Okay. So this is the typical business process of a regular maintenance in the department. Mm -hmm. We will see how to execute all these things in the SAP system. We will understand. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the regular maintenance. After that, we will go to breakdown maintenance. Regular maintenance. What happens is your machine will be still in running condition. Yes. Okay. You, your machine will not stop. There is slight some reg, some small small issues will be there like oil uh -huh. leak. Uh -huh abnormal sound those things abnormal. so that time you go for regular maintenance now breakdown maintenance means your machine will get stopped your machine is under breakdown machine machine stops working so that time production people will inform the engineering department through notification so with the notification they will create a work order okay and using that work order technician will do all the activities they will confirm the order and finally they will close the order now how to execute this business process in the scp system we will understand okay which is called breakdown maintenance breakdown maintenance okay so once the breakdown maintenance is done we will go to preventive maintenance so preventive maintenance means uh, to ensure your equipment works without any breakdowns works smoothly without any problem what you do periodically you do some preventive maintenance am i correct mm. yes the preventive maintenance like is like a uh, you whenever you purchase a car or a bike what you will do every month you will give servicing right yes, yes. Ah, same concept plan ah. so it's a planned maintenance it's a planned maintenance so here you have three types time based performance based condition based time based means like every month every once in That's six months idea. once in a ah. year ah. so you you go for preventive maintenance that is called time based now performance based performance based on means like based on counter readings like uh, your machine your machine runs some thousand hours or your car runs for thousand kilometers okay so based on that you do preventive maintenance performance based 
then sometimes you do condition based you expect your machine to have some condition if your machine is not meeting that condition then you do the condition based preventive maintenance now we will see how to execute all these things in the scp system we will understand mm. okay how to create maintenance strategy time based performance based how to create the maintenance plan how to schedule it how the orders will be generated automatically you will understand all these things okay so preventive maintenance business process we will discuss in detail okay now then we go to refurbishment of spare parts sometimes in the industry what happens is there will be some costly spare parts will be okay uh, which you cannot procure each and every time so whatever the spare parts got damaged you will what you do you repair them again then you will reuse them okay which is called refurbishment which is called refurbishment okay how to do that in the scp system we will understand see it's like a you have a spare part it is got damaged instead of procuring the new one what you do the existing one you do the repair in your organization and then you will reuse it again okay that is called refurbishment of spare parts now we will see how to execute this thing in the sap system we will understand mm. okay so that is refurbishment now the next one calibration inspection see here here in the demo yes. i am just explaining mm. you what are the business processes how they work and i am mm. just giving you an overview oh. okay? so calibration inspection means in the organization there will be a quality control department yes in the quality control department to to check the quality of the products they use some equipments correct yes so these equipments again you have to check periodically whether they are working properly or not they are showing correct status or not ah yes so for that you will use this test equipment management process okay so here you will have a integration with plan maintenance integration with quality management module so this we will discuss how to execute this we will understand okay so once calibration inspection is done we will go to investment order process that means in the industry sometimes they procure new machines correct yes they procure new machines whenever the new procurement new machine is procured they do commissioning they do some commission installation and commissioning so when you do that installation and commissioning some costs are involved okay some people are involved some parts are required so how to execute all these things in the scp system we will understand mm. okay this is what called investment order process okay once that is done we will go for reports in plan maintenance okay so normally at the month end you will see all the reports how much costs are incurred for maintenance activity okay how many breakdowns i have done how many repair activities i have done to see all those things you will use reports so how to execute these reports in the sap system you will understand okay analytical reports master data reports transactional data reports miscellaneous reports all those things okay. once that is done we will go to configuration part the important configuration back end settings as a consultant you have to design the system back end what settings you have to make all those things you will understand okay master data configuration uh, um, plan uh, preventive maintenance configuration everything we will see okay so once configuration is done we will see integration of plan maintenance with other modules like mm purchasing mm okay uh, then your pp production planning okay fic controlling fic okay so and inventory management wm so we will see all these integration of plan maintenance module we'll see that means when you do some activity in the plan maintenance module how that activity will affect other modules other areas in the organization okay so that we will understand so after the training i provide you three types of documents okay after the training i'll provide you three types of documents one is sap certification documents these are provided by sap germany i'll provide you second one is process flow documents which are which are created by me 
with step by step screenshots another one is configuration documents okay i'll show you this sap certification documents means these are provided by sap germany hmm. you see these are the ones these documents are provided by sap germany see these are the documents i'll give you soft copies so these documents will be for your future reference okay i'll provide you these documents okay here concepts will be there for practicing all the data will be there all the all the what do you call all the subjects con concepts will be there what we have okay so i will i will provide you all these documents sap uh, documents which are provided by germany okay next one is process flow documents so whatever i teach during my training i prepared them with step by step screenshots i'll show you them hmm. suppose let's say breakdown maintenance how to perform breakdown maintenance with hmm. step by step screenshots okay see breakdown maintenance so whenever a machine is under breakdown they create a notification production department so that is with step by step screenshots i prepared are you able to see okay so this i prepared with so we, using these documents whenever you are practicing in the system you can practice as per your requirement yeah so these documents i will give you i prepared for all the topics i prepared for all the topics with step by step screenshots okay so that is one now the next one is configuration documents so whatever i teach during my training those topics i prepared configuration documents back at settings suppose if you go configuration how to do configuration all these things so you will be getting this also how to do configuration with step by step screenshots mm. okay so you will get all these documents it is around 162 pages these documents will be for your future reference okay so you will get all these documents so post training post training after completion of training you will get all these three certification process flow and config documents okay now the training will take around 20 to 25 hours 20 to 25 okay. hours uh, i will i will i'll take two types of training one is weekdays during weekdays monday to friday monday to friday weekdays only one hour another one is only on weekends friday saturday and sunday uh, saturday 2 and 1/2 hours and sunday 2 and 1/2 hours two days during weekdays how much time you will it will take one hour oh, weekdays only one hour daily one hour, one hour. Oh, okay. yes correct okay and the training will happen through this go to meeting go to meeting it can be recorded okay. even you can record the training session okay mm -hmm. and the train and you will be provided with ids access sap demo server access so that you can practice okay and the training will happen through real time scenarios it's like an it's not like end user or the normal training whenever you go to different different industries what type of requirements you will get how to configure that how to design that okay and executing everything will be executed in sap this is the demo so i'm not going into sap okay when the real training happens i will be logging on to sap each and everything i will be showing end to end oh end to end And to execute that backends, what settings you have to make, backend what master data, what configuration settings you have to make, all those things I will be showing. This is the demo, so I am not going to SAP. So when the real training starts, I will be logging on to SAP and I will be showing each and everything. Okay, I will be showing each and everything in the system during the real training. Okay, so that is all about the demo boss. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Nothing from my side. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask Ram. Oh, uh, no, I don't have any. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Speak louder, Ram. No, speak louder, uh, please. No, no, I don't have any. Any from my side. Uh, you don't have any questions as of now. Uh, yes. Uh, so, what is your suitable time, Ram? Evening, same time. 
acha evening uh, you are working now or currently you are working or not working currently hello i am not working i am not working i am at home only okay so currently i have a batch just started uh, morning 6 to 7 every morning 6 to 7 daily one hour if you are interested you can join that batch okay i will decide it later yeah, you decide and you inform that sap solutions team okay 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 ram then uh, if you if you don't have any questions then i can close the demo okay okay